Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2018. I'm sitting down with Adam Wise from Mayday Games and he brought us Poetry Slam! Yeah. <laughs> so, Poetry Slam is a word party game for 3 to 10 players. And uh, players are beatnik poets at a Poetry Slam. And we're going to be coming up with words every round. So, that's the first part of the round. So, we are going to flip up a word prompt here consisting of two cards. We've got the word cards and letter cards. So we flip up a word prompt and a letter. Are those visible there? Yes, they okay. are. So in this case, has the letter S twice in a row. Everyone has one of these score pads, score sheets off the score pad and a pencil, and they're going to be writing simultaneously a word that has the letter S twice in a row. So there are a bunch of speed tiles in the middle of here. As soon as you're finished writing your word, you're going to grab one of these. So this would be for a five-player game, you've got five tiles. Uh, this is the point value of the tile. So ah. first to finish can get more points. There's a downside to doing that though, and I'll get to that in a second. So I finish my word, I grab a tile. Every other player is finishing and grabbing tiles. Once everyone is finished, you can immediately take points, both for speed, which would be five in my case, and then length of your word. So your length is not simply the, the letter length. You get one, two, three, or four points based on how long your word is. So, so if I did a word like assessment, double, double on the double S. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, okay, here we go. A-S-S-E-S-S-M-E-N-T, -S 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 -E 10. All right, so you would get the maximum of four points. For the word length. <laughs> so you can get points in both of those two categories. After everyone's grabbed their tiles, written down their points, we now have a little poetry round. And this okay. is where it gets really interesting. So, uh, players are trying to come up with a rhyming couplet that describes their word and allows other people to guess what their word is. Ooh. So, uh, if my word was glasses for this word prompt, I might say, I, I wear these on my face and I leave them all over the place. <laughs> so. Uh, as you're going to get some points for the poetry round if someone guesses your word. So I would get three points if someone guesses glasses. The guesser would get one point. So you can get points both for guessing and for coming up with so a poem. So if you don't feel very creative in actually creating the poetry, yeah. you can still do well if you can guess well. Right. And there's some uh, ways to get around it as well. Uh, because if I, if I start my poem and someone guesses before I finish, I get less points. So I get two points if I say, I wear these on my face, and you share it up, show out of glasses. <laughs> yeah. But everyone only gets one guess per poem. So they're incentivized to guess quickly, but if you guess wrong, you can't guess again for that poem. Uh, the other thing that this helps with is if I am really struggling with the rhyme for a particular word, I can kind of say the first line and trail off. Like if my word was elephant, I'm a big gray animal with a trunk, someone's going to say elephant. <laughs> I, I didn't have a second line for my poem, but I didn't have to get there, so that's alright. <laughs> if you're playing with kids and stuff too, you can remove the rhyming constraint, but after a round or two it becomes, it becomes much uh, easier than it seems like it will be to do this. <laughs> uh, so there's no turn order to the poetry round. You've got three to ten players around the table. As soon as you have, everyone has grabbed a tile, you can just say your poem when you're ready. So you say out your poem, people guess it, you get some points for it. Uh, after everyone has done a poem, we are going to flip over the tile we took at the beginning. So the okay, speed tile. so we'll say I was two. So, I, by taking five points, I have lost my letter I for the ah. rest of the game. <laughs> so as the rounds go on, I can't use the letter I in my words anymore. So <laughs> it, it's a catch-up mechanism. Players who are really good, getting a lot of points early on, are going to be slowed down because they're losing really good letters. Right, because you're going to be losing them from this tier one, right. I'm guessing, because the color matches. Yeah. So yeah, I specifically, some of them will say tier four, so you would get your choice of losing any one of those tier four letters, whichever one you want to lose. So. After eight rounds, you're going to have lost seven letters. You're trying to match both the word prompt and avoid your minefield here, your personal thing. <laughs> Everyone has their own board, so you've got a different set of letters you've lost. So you're going to make mistakes, uh, most likely. Everyone does. Uh, if, especially if you've lost your E and your A and stuff like that. So every time you do, every time you use a letter you're not allowed to use, you take a slam token. You'll probably collect a few of those. Those are just worth minus two points each at the end of the game. So 
especially if you have a really good long word, this might be it's going it to anyway. give me a slam shirt. I'll take yeah. a slam. <laughs> Other times you'll forget about your board entirely and you'll take four slams at once because you're just like, you wrote assassinate and you weren't allowed to use an S or something. So the question always comes up, what if you had already lost your S and this comes up? You're allowed to use the two S's in a row without taking slams for them. Because that's the requirement. Right. So. But if you use any other S's, if my word was session, I would take one slam for the S at the beginning. I wouldn't take one for the ones in the middle. So that's the main idea. We're going over a number of rounds. We play less rounds if we're playing 10 players. So uh, it shows on here, I don't know if it's visible, ah, yes. but seven if you're playing players, six, six players, players, you stop at the seventh round. Uh, you're always going to lose seven letters by the end, though. So if you're playing an eight, nine, or 10 player game, you're only playing five rounds, but you start off at the very beginning by shaking up three of these, and everyone's going to lose a tier two, and a tier one, and a tier five of their choice before we even start. So you'll have always lost seven letters, uh, and that's the main idea. And I was going to say, a, a pretty spectacularly well organized box make yes. out grid, you just kind of had this is tidier than in, in real life than it would be at, at the moment. But, um, yeah, you know, that I, I, I always appreciate boxes that are really useful for what you need to do, and mm -hmm. this is. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to be a hinge originally yeah, until it's a, I saw you setting it up over there. So. Really unique box design. <laughs> yeah. It looks great. Uh, it, it's really easy to... I've been demoing this for the last few days and when we get another person who's been watching and wants to suddenly sit down and join, it's easy to open this thing up, grab, grab another stuff. component, close it up. It's a, Honestly, a nice not, little box. not the end of the world to sort of have someone join in a round late or two. Yeah. I mean, if they don't care that they're a few points behind. Yeah, it's a party in. game. Like, <laughs> That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam, thank you for letting us take a look. If you guys want to check that out, this is Poetry Slam from Mayday Games. Thank you again. Thank you.